I had to stop grinding because he was priming. I gotta clean this stuff off here and then refit this in. Clamp it down, final trim it to get it in underneath. Prime it up and then weld it in. pictures of like all of the surface rust that's on the bottom of this stuff it's good to see you know is this a dent right here Mr. Rick? climbed over a curb or something just showing it where they see all of this you know and then once we clean it up and prime it how much better it's gonna look details guys every inch every inch of your car when you get this type of you know work done to your car be touched you know a lot of times like I remember like when I first opened up we moved out here you know, when you first start business, you kind of deal with customers to where you, you almost have to because you need to keep the lights on, you need to keep the doors open, you know. And now, God be the glory, we have customers that kind of understand and appreciate the craftsmanship that we offer and the prices that we charge. But at the time, we used to have to always explain, like, why did this cost this? Why did this cost this? Why did this cost this? And when somebody tell you $5,000 for a paint job, believe me, they're not doing this. This don't even get touched. When they charge you $5,000 for a paint job, you talk about the exterior of your car. You know, the outside of it. Maybe the door jam. They're not talking about taking this whole front clip off, taking the radiator support out of this Toyota, and inspecting every inch of it, grinding every inch of it down to make sure there's no corrosion or rust that's left unseen. You know what I'm saying? So, details. The devil's in the details, man. Like, we are not your cheapest shop. But I guarantee you, if you're gonna compare us, please compare apples to apples. You know what I mean? Like, an orange tree is a good fruit, but it's not an apple. Holla back.